I'm Captain Greg for Boat Test. Join me as I inspect this yacht from bow to stern, taking a look at each venue and how it might appeal to every member of the family. The focal point of any large motor yacht is the salon. If that space doesn't work for you, then you're on the wrong yacht. So let's start our inspection just as your guests would by entering through the sliding doors from the aft deck. Everybody knows how a patio door works, but Fairline has taken it one step further, allowing both parts of this patio door to fully retract into the cabinet behind the gallery. If the goal is to bring the outside in, this window is sure gonna help the cause fully retracting down to allow the salon galley to flow smoothly into the cockpit. In the salon, the first family-oriented venue is this wraparound couch. Easily seats five to six people. And over to starboard is a love seat. Fairline has listened to its customers and adopted new fabrics and carpet to give all of its boats an updated look and feel. Most owners of motor yachts believe space to move around is important. In this layout drawing of the Phantom 65, we see that there is a wide passage from the aft deck to the helm, allowing guests to mix and mingle easily. In the galley, there's ample storage. There's a mealy combination cooktop, as well as microwave and oven, with venting underneath the cabinets, stainless steel fixtures on the sink, and more additional storage to inboard. There's a solid surface countertop, and this neat storage to outboard. At the center of the dining area is a walnut table that expands with the same bird's eye maple that can be seen throughout the accommodations. Also at the helm are two push buttons that control the opening and closing of the sunroof. A feature I really like is the pneumatic seal, which makes sure the outside stays outside. In addition to UV glass, there are also manual shades that can be pulled over each panel. Let's have a look down below. When it comes to the yacht's features, perhaps the accommodations are the second most important consideration. Most motor yachts this size have three staterooms, and some, like the Phantom 65, can have four staterooms, as we see here in this layout. As a buyer, do you have kids and grandkids? If so, this Phantom 65 layout may be best for you, with your adult children in the VIP, and the grandkids in the bunks, and the guest cabin with twins and a head. Or if you just have one or two grandchildren, perhaps the nanny will sleep in the bunk room. If you don't plan to cruise with a lot of people, then the forced stateroom can be better used. Here's Fairline's three ensuite stateroom layout. As you can see, the fourth cabin has been turned into a dayhead. Owners who plan on doing a lot of entertaining should seriously consider this option, as it will make guests comfortable and is much more private for them because it's below and not a main deck dayhead. It also keeps the three ensuite heads private. If you plan on cruising with just another couple, then this three stateroom arrangement might be best. Note that the VIP Ford is almost palatial in its size, with a vanity on centerline, a large credenza to port, and a head that is literally the size of a guest stateroom. The owner of this boat need not be embarrassed about showing best friends to this forward cabin. And in this case, the third stateroom might be a good place for the cook or cook and stew. Now we come to the layout that will probably suit most people. It has three ensuite staterooms and a utility room to port. Here is where all the ship's linens, beach towels, and sundry items can be found. There's also a full-size refrigerator and freezer. Note there is even a small ironing board, a signature detail of Fairline Yachts. This is the layout we're inspecting, so let's get to it. Here we are in the full beam master stateroom. It's just over 14 feet wide with headroom at six feet, six inches. The Fairline attention to detail and craftsmanship is on full display in the master. There's walnut that's curved, hand sanded, hand veneered in the factory, fluting detail that's on display, not only here, but throughout the boat. We've got control switches for both the mood lighting and the task specific lighting. Coming on around, you have the vanity or workspace which has matched book grain, simple pop-up. A nice detail is the under counter accent light. Another nice detail is the stool for the vanity. It's in the end position, but stays attached when you pull it out. 
Behind the vanity on the starboard side and matching on the port side is this large picture frame window that brings the occupants of the master directly in touch with the sea. As we move aft, we've got two large closets. This one is lit, has a mirror on the exterior. Pushing on the mirror of the closet behind us reveals the second part of the his and her closet. As we move back center line is the ensuite head. Stepping into the ensuite head, we have a sink, hard surface countertops, a planus head, and a roomy shower that has six foot three inches of height. As we go to the port side of the master, we start with one of four Sonos speakers with a subwoofer under the bed. There is air conditioning venting that's concealed up above this headliner. We also have a couch in front of the picture window on the port side. One thing we'd like to see is a little more walk space in between the couch and the bed. Fairline has already taken this under consideration. On the port side, there's an option for a chest of drawers as opposed to the couch. The bed is 65 inches wide and 77 inches long. Coming to the forward part of the master is a 43 inch TV. The same black walnut fluting. It's got the bird's eye maple, which are inset in all of the doors down below. Now let's go forward to the VIP. Wow, this is nice. There's plenty of storage. We've got storage cabinets above the windows port and starboard. There's a storage tray that has electrical outlets and USB outlets just below it. I like this bed because it's not tapered. It's a full 55 inches wide and 72 inches long across the entire mattress. On the forward bulkhead is a 31 inch flat screen TV. There's a closet on either starboard and port, which are 19 inches inside. And there's more storage cabinetry above the window. I'd be remiss to not mention that the headroom is six feet, nine inches with three feet, four inches above the bed. Now moving back on the port side is the combination ensuite and day head. Inside the head, we have a hard surface countertop and storage below. Notice the curvature matches the vessel sink. There's mirrored storage above the sink. And for a VIP, this shower is huge. Six feet, nine inches of headroom and almost three by five. Coming out the second door to the forward stateroom, just across the hall and to starboard, is the guest stateroom. There are two beds. Inboard is a bed that's 32 inches wide and 77 inches long, and outboard, a bed that's 30 inches wide and also 77 inches long. A really cool feature is they're currently in the configuration with a walkway in between them and a nightstand with electrical connectivity. With the touch of a button, the inboard bed moves outboard, forming one queen-size bed. There's a 25-inch closet, a 23-inch flat-screen TV. An unusual feature for a boat this size in the guest stateroom is its own ensuite head. A unique design feature of the Phantom 65 is this internal liner that goes from starboard to port, and bulkheads are actually epoxied directly into it to add st structural rigidity. All the carpets on board have an underlay with sound deadening characteristics. Across from the guest stateroom is a utility room. There are many options on the Fairline Phantom 65, including three and four stateroom configurations, and this one which has the unique utility room. The utility room is full of storage space. There's also a full height refrigerator and freezer. Fairline's attention to detail in both design and structural elements can be seen by the four hinges on each door. Every door comes with a rubber gasket that allows it to seal securely against its frame and stops any rattle. A feature I really like are these magnetically activated latches. Close the door and the latch pops out, securing the door. Starting aft, we have a large sun pad. It's nine feet across and seven feet, four inches long. Certainly big enough for three or maybe four people. Coming forward, we have a seating area for eight. A feature I really like is the furthest seat over to starboard actually can pull forward, adding one additional seat into this spacious seating area. Now coming a little further forward, let's look at the headliner. It's vinyl, has two of the Sonos speakers, accent lighting. There's also an aft looking camera and one of the fastest sunshades that I've ever seen. Coming aft, 
we have the controls for the sunshade and all the accent lighting. We also have an optional refrigerator or freezer and an access door for the manual bilge pumps and the fire control systems. Let's take a trip around the stern of the Phantom 65, starting with the full beam swim platform. It's 41 inches deep on the edges, 50 inches deep in the center. You have the controls for the Glen Denning power cables, 250 amps, as well as the controls to open both the tender garage as well as extend and drop the swim platform. The swim platform has an aft facing seat and the cushions are stored right above it. There's an onboard shower with a built-in shower head. There's also a handheld unit. An optional feature on the Phantom 65 are crew quarters. This can be used for storage when not in crew quarter configuration. Our test yacht has the submersible swim platform option. It's a teak beach that lowers into the water just far enough to suit any age children or all the way down for adults during a hot afternoon. The teak platform can also be rigged to easily launch and retrieve the tender with just the push of a button. Coming forward to the bow, there's storage for fenders, popped up mood lighting, cup holders, and what can we say about this? This is where everyone is gonna wanna hang out. There's seating for probably up to 12 people, two sun pads, the aft section of the sun pads pop up to make for lounging activities, and the wood table cantilevers in behind the cushions. This is a space where you can let your imagination go wild. It's ideal for a sunbathing party, a noontime lunch, an afternoon nap under a billowing awning, or an evening cocktail watching a sunset. Now let's take a look at the flybridge. Around the aft part of the flybridge, we have seating for up to eight passengers and a fold-out teak table. Coming forward, we have a compartment for waste, an electric grill, a sink, and a refrigerator and freezer unit. Adjacent to the helm station up forward on the flybridge is a seating area for six so that the passengers can keep the driver company. Above the flybridge is a bimini cover. The feature I love about this is you pop a couple of wires and with one button, the bimini retracts or comes back up. That's our look at the features, family-oriented venues and accommodations of Fairline's Phantom 65. For Boat Test, I'm Captain Greg, wishing you fair winds and following seas.